Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Wednesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, S&P 500, E-mini futures, uh, daily chart. And what we're seeing here is, well, we're seeing something we haven't seen yet in 2016. Yesterday did a higher low versus the prior day low and a higher high. We've already taken out yesterday's high today. And so you have to wonder, you know, are the, are the bulls, you know, kind of building themselves up for, you know, a multi-day bounce or rally. Um, and let me preface this by saying I think this rally is a sell. I think it's ultimately a sell. I think the bears are in control of this tape. Um, we are long. Uh, we're long this rally from 16 and change. It's a runner. It's a smaller, you know, remaining position on a larger position. But it's my feeling that, you know, either one of two things is going to happen. Either the bulls are not ready, and this is just a very small bounce that's going to come back and, 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 and do new lows probably today, or we're going to go ahead and go see the weekly pivot up at 1954.60. It's pretty rare that you don't go see the weekly pivot, either a support or, or resistance or, or, you know, busting over it or busting through it during the course of a week. Um, but I maintain that this rally will ultimately be a sell. We had a good example of that yesterday. You know, we brought the market up 30, 35 handles from the lows yesterday. We go print 40 to 42, which was um, which is a trend line that that uh, that Spring Hill Jack from from ChannelsAndPatterns.com who trades with us, you know, every week in the room, um, and he's got you know a really good thing going on over at at the Art of Chart.net as well. Um, you know, we we hit that trend line. Um, and it died. We got a short on. And so we ended up having a really nice day in the room. Ultimately, we ended up long. It bounced off a couple of key, key levels that, that, that we use every day. And we got a decent little rally. Um, so for the first time in a long time, I actually held something long overnight and let it bounce around. In, in looking at Globex, we printed as high as 46 as we're back down to, you know, 34, 35 area. It's, the onus is going to be on the bears if we get up to weekly pivot to turn that move or, you know, to, to knock it down, to turn it back around. And the onus is on the bulls. The bulls are going to want to do what they've done before in situations like this, which is to start to blow through key levels. If they break above the weekly pivot and establish it as support at 5460, that's going to be a shot across the bow. And the bears are really going to have to rally uh, and get it together and execute at key areas to push to push it back down. Um, the bears have been in good form recently, and I think that you know they should be able to get that done. But you know the only thing left to do it is to do it. You know, um, so in um, in looking at this market, we've spent. Four days in, in, in between the second and third standard deviation Bollinger Bands, part part of the day yesterday. We're now outside. We're, we're back. We're, we're outside of the channel. We're back inside the Bollinger Bands. This is the natural place for a bounce. Okay? The bounce should be a sellable bounce. All bounces have been sells. The one thing that the sell from yesterday's bounce didn't do was take out the prior day low. And that's, you know, that's usually a shot across the bow or it's a tell for me. That we're gonna, you know, get a little bit of mileage, a little bit of a relief rally, you know, to the upside, and 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 the and the, and the converse works, you know, when you're when you're when you're ramping higher. Um, you always want to look for higher lows and lower highs on all time frames. Um, how long it lasts remains to be seen. Um, so you know, we've got to you've got to look out for that. So for those of you out there that are that are long and are saying, you know, we're gonna take, do a V back to you know back to new highs. I, I would seriously caution you on that. Um, at the same time, I would caution the shorts out there, don't be too early in fighting this because you'll be getting off the train just when you need to get on the train. Okay? Bear market rallies, and I'm not saying this is a macro bear market, but certainly the tape in 2016 has been a very serious bear market tape. Rallies have been sold. The bears have been in control. I'd, I'd love to hear the argument that the bulls are, are, are in control because it's just not there. Um, 
and I always get accused of being, you know, a bear in bear markets and a bull in bull markets, and that's fine. It comes with the territory. But the nasty thing about bear market rallies is they go a heck of a lot longer than you think they will, and they're parabolic at times, and they they chew up early and weak shorthands. So be patient. The nice part about bear market rallies is, is that when they fail, they tend to run all the way back to the lows. And that's, you know, that's plenty of handles. You don't have to catch the top, you know, and you don't have to catch the bottom of moves. I've always said if you can catch the if you can catch 80 percent of a total move, throw away the top 10 percent, throw away the, the, the bottom 10 percent of a move. You're doing really, really well. And you're doing better than 99 percent of the folks out there. Trust me. All right. Everybody have a fantastic day. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out the website. Check out the chat room. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them